Hey gang, welcome to the Sneaker Files podcast. I'm your host, Eugene. Find us online at sneakerfiles.com. That's sneaker, P-H-I-L-E-S dot com. You can find us on Twitter at sneakerfiles and on Instagram at sneakerfiles underscore podcast. Listen to us on Apple iTunes, Google Play Music. You can uh, download that there or stream it from the Sneaker Files website. Once again, we are recording live from Stay Fresh, the studio, Canada's premier sneaker consignment store. You can find them at www.stayingfresh.ca. Sitting right in front of me, we got... It's Jason. What's up, guys? What's going on, Jason? Nothing. All Glad right. to be here. All right, man. I missed last week, so... I know. Work. Work had me busy. And uh, to your right, we got... What's up, guys? It's Pierre. Hey, Pierre. How's it going, Pierre. buddy? Hi, man, three weeks in a row, guys. Going three. That four three. Fuck, that man. Four huh? Would have made the Vancouver Grizzlies fucking <laughs> jealous. <laughs> have a winning streak. Whoa, Whoa, that's quite the that. winning streak. We I have. know, right? We got three weeks in a row, so welcome. It's going to be consistent. We got to make it consistent. We'll, we'll try, man. Our listeners want to hear us. Well, bullshit. that's the thing, man. Like, like technically, we don't owe them anything, but like at the same time, man, like we've developed some sort of rapport with them. Absolutely. And it'd be nice if we delivered product to them very consistently and regularly. Yeah. We're just like the Nike.ca site. Yeah, man. Sometimes you're really happy about it. Don't even it. bring. <laughs> don't mean loop me in in that, that. What? Tell me I'm wrong. It's dramatic. Tell isn't me it? I'm wrong. When's the last time you guys like were able to cop something? Like a successful launch item on Nike.ca. Uh, because uh, I don't even cop anything because if I want something that is general release, I'll just go to the store. That's what I'm talking about, man. Like launch products. None. I haven't. Is it because like you don't trust the system or you don't have the patience for it or? Oh, dude, I try every time. I just don't get it. Oh, okay. So it's not like you've just given up. No. It's just that they've given up on you. Dude, remember Hope. <laughs> hope makes a hope. makes a do makes us do a lot of weird things and that's including waking up at one AM that well, sucks. staying up for that's a That's the thing, man. Like one AM for like Nike Lab releases is is, is one thing, but like yeah. for the East Coast that's like four AM, yeah. right? It's not late and it's not early. It's just fucking stuck right in the middle. <laughs> I'm trying to see which pays out first, my sneakers app or Nike.ca. So you're like fucking. <laughs> Let's see who blank on shooting blanks on both online. Like I'm not, I'm not good online. But sneakers app has been way better to me than yeah Nike.ca. I had a choice. I had a chance to cop those reacts, <clears> but <throat> you know what? I'm not. I I passed on it. Actually. Whoa! What do you mean? Why would you pass on those, man? What better colorways? <clears throat> stop! 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 You're talking about like the elements, right? Yeah, yeah. You passed on those when you had a chance to Dude, get them. Dude, it's okay. Just because I pass on doesn't mean it's a huge thing. I think remember, it's it's cop what you like, right? Like you didn't mm-hmm. like them. It's not the colorway that I'm looking for. Which one? Which of the two? Which one were you gonna go for? The black ones are really bold. The s- sail ones are really dainty. So. So, no, that's okay. why I. That's why I didn't buy any, man. Is it like the translucent upper, or is it like the color itself? What didn't hit it for you? It's man? cool that it's translucent. I've always wanted a translucent shoe, and and, but not right now. I like, think you're one of the few people that collects mm-hmm. sneakers that's not into this shoe. Really? Yeah, it, dude. It's dope. I don't know what it is, but okay, bold statement maybe. Yeah. NMDs of the time, like th- these might be the. Oh, NMDs. you're calling it. N- you're calling it? Could be. There's a lot of hype that just happened out of nowhere. I mean, that Paris fashion show just started it all, but like, <laughs> out of nowhere, everyone in the resale is like 450 on these bad boys. So, like I, I was saying, like before we started recording, uh, if you looked on your Instagram feed right yeah. about now, mm-hmm. all you see is like this fucking React element. 87. Everyone loves these, and they're cool. They're like, cool, man. They, yeah. But they take a very fine-tuned. F- finesse to get these things looking yeah. right because i don't have the sock game to go with it yeah like legit Just like barefoot then i i, I seen people <laughs> yeah. do that yeah I mean, and i don't want that look for no. myself yeah. no, no 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 but the react soul i heard is is world class when it comes to comfort sure mm-hmm. right but like for people like us does the comfort really matter anymore it does help yes. in, in yeah right it does for me, help for you comfort right. yeah i like comfort yeah. so like if your jordan one off whites weren't comfortable you'd never wear them now come on uh, I probably wear them a lot less. Are they uh, not comfortable? You're awesome. No, they're awesome. Okay. But I have other shoes that I really like that are just not that comfortable. If you're talking I about like... The, I like the colorway or the design, but they're just not comfortable, which I, is unfortunate. I've done that thing where like I've sacrificed comfort just to be able to wear a nice looking pair of shoes. Like I've done that 
throughout i don't know the entire time i've been collecting shoes man like yeah if i want to get the comfortable shoes i just be wearing the same three i do wear the same three or four <laughs> shoes all the time but like <laughs> like i wouldn't buy i wouldn't buy anything else i would yeah. just buy the ultra boost and fucking like lunars all so day do long. you want something right out of the gate that's comfort or do you do you appreciate a little bit of the break-in for me like i like having comfortable shoes right out of the box yeah because knowing me i'm not going to get too much mileage out of every pair yeah. So it's not like, I'm going to wear my shoes out. The only shoes that I wear out are, like, work shoes. See, yeah. m- mind you, though, like, I mean, the new tech that's out, f- knit patterns, there's no really breaking out periods in that one because... No, they cu- they should be comfort straight out of the gate. Absolutely, because yeah. there's no, str- like, there's no points of stretch marks or stretchers, yeah. like, stretches on that one. Like, it's the old school shoes that need time for wear, for, for getting used to. But you could opinion. still have, like, a knit shoe and something and it doesn't fit, like... Point in case is like the sock dart. Yeah. I fucking hate the heel counter in it. I don't like it and I don't like how it fits. I don't like how the strap goes across your foot. Yeah. Because there's something about it that it cuts across my foot the wrong way. I don't really? like I don't like it at all. I it's unfortunate because it's such a dope shoe. Yeah. I don't like the fit. I gotta revisit at all. my sock darts because I haven't worn yeah. my sock darts in Here, a Here's a hot take. What do you guys think if I were to tell you that the sneaker companies out there know that these ultra comfortable or high performance shoes, the Epics or the Ultra Boost or the Trainers or whatever, these things are meant to be replaced and disposable just so that you have to get another like pair. Like IKEA shoes? Yeah, man. Like they're supposed <laughs> to be meant for Fashionable a very short amount it. of time, wear out, and they're gonna quote unquote force the consumer to buy another pair. Is this make what, it cheaper then? Is that what it is? They don't need to, man. Like make it cheaper. I'm not then, saying that's, that's what it is. I'm just saying like, right? what if I told you that? Like your cell phone is made to stop working properly after a, a year exactly. But was the Ultra Boost meant for casual wear? I don't think it was. I think it was initially it was supposed to be for running. Supposedly, it, yeah, they were being sold at like running Which stores. Which would technically exclusively answer your question because you'd only get so much mileage out of it as a running shoe apparently you're supposed to get multiple running shoes and let them rest over like 48 hours after every run hmm. so like if you run daily like they need a chance to like rebound from the memory hmm. that's that what i've heard eugene that wouldn't be cool though like just not i'm just thinking about of course it. it's not cool <laughs> man not cool like it wouldn't be cool to make a shoe and half ass it yeah. to be intentionally like no i'm talking about intentional I'm talking about maybe they're just doing their minimum to make sure that these shoes get maximum mileage. And like Jason at said, at the sacrifice of comfort, the, make it fair for pricing. That right, like you, you're not how much, but the the Epic React 80, the Element 87s were not that bad of a price point. They were like 160. What right? US? Oh US. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How much is that? So it's, pro- it's probably like, like 200 215. or 215, which, which is, is what the Epic React. What? It's the same thing as the the tra- and, uh, the and, trainer the. And Flying Pierre's trainer. always kind of guilty of this, not not realizing exactly how much money two hundred dollars really is, and in, yeah, in the real world. Because but because you work hard, I get it. No, but what I like about it is Nike's I'm, always roughly in the same price point with their their inflation model. is a lot slower than, than Adidas's inflation yeah, rate. I'm sorry, but yeah. uh, Eugene, to answer that question is because yeah. I'm straight cash, homie. Oh, right. Yeah. Straight cash. <laughs> That's what your tattoo says. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sheesh. <laughs> but, n- dude, now, it's, now I'm, like, getting choked now. That, I'm not saying that it actually is. No, I'm just saying I'm what saying, if. Hot oh, take. Yes, but you know what? With with everything that, like, with the, the phones nowadays, batteries for some reason don't last that long, so you have yeah, to upgrade it and all mysterious. that. Like, I don't like that if it happens to be coming to my shoes. Like, like if that trend transfers over to shoes, because that's not cool. Like, I think... It's supposed to last you a long ass time. What if I gave you this option, okay? Hmm. Super comfortable shoes, a la the the lunars or the ultra boosts, that only last half a year. But for the same price, you can get shoes that can last two years, but are only half as comfortable. Which one would you choose? Well, general, mm-hmm. yeah, dude. Aha! <laughs> I and then you can each. buy for a hundred dollars. You can buy Apple Care. <laughs> so Nike something. care, Nike, Nike care. <laughs> You've I, heard it first here. Nike care. I don't like that. I don't like. I mean, I probably do this. I probably do the same kind of behaviors that I do right now, which is get the ones that are hyped. But you, dude, that's not cool. I'm not saying it's cool. I'm I know. Just I'm, saying, I'm like, just saying in like moral. Like now, I'm giving the consumer the option of picking one or the other. Which one would you choose? <laughs> like, do you want longevity or do you want like fucking very immediate satisfaction 
Yeah, you I'll want a long term relationship? Or you want to like? I'll do the immediate <laughs> satisfaction. I, yeah, I collect, <laughs> just I like in high school. I collect <laughs> shoes anyway, so that means I'll I'll Maybe, probably yeah. wear them one once or twice or an outfit, and then they'll last a long time. Man, you but check. I don't like that idea. Please don't do that, yeah. Nike Adidas Reebok. So What's you're so you're done with the React. Then you're just no, not at all. You not just don't all. like you're those waiting colors. for like the other what? colorways. I'm what? waiting for Wh- the hype to subside. I'm waiting for the blue ones look nice. That are the new releases that are coming up. So you mean the undercover ones? Um, are they undercover? There's a blue or, one oh, there's a blue and then there's a bolt. Yeah. Version that's coming out in fall, I, but then I, there's the undercover ones as well. I always Hello. want to try to to get into the latest technology, whether it's the um, the hyper reacts or yeah. like the. Uh, Do you have those? I don't. Do you I have don't. the Epic Reacts? No, I don't either. And you told me that those are awesome. These are so. comfy. Yeah. But they but never the they reacts. almost never go on sale. That's yeah. the problem. Well, no. that's a shoe I would try for like 10, 20% off. It's kind of like what was the shoe that came out um like a year and a half ago and it was the it was like the new running foam shoe. Oh, fuck, I can't. Remember. I'll think about it. it was oh, one the that Zoom came, Flies. Uh not it was before the 4%. The, no, vapor it was, Flies. It was before the the Zoom Flies and the Vapor Flies, but uh and that that shoe fly. <laughs> shoe fly. <laughs> um, That's hilarious. I'll think about it, yeah. but I'm trying to remember. It was like super hyped. It was super hyped by uh, local people here. Okay, so not uh, the and then 4%? it went. No, no, no. It was before that, and then it went super like fucking discount. And no one. See, that's no another thing on my list anymore, but, that I haven't. That I'm still uh, thinking that Zoom Fly SPs. Uh, those are dope. Called? Kick Steels was promoting them. For oh, a long time. the Shout out. the Lunar yeah. Epics. Is that what they were? Yeah. They have epic in there somewhere, <laughs> and it has like in the midsole. It's like it's, yeah, it's got, got these vertical lines, lines man. and yeah. then it's got yeah. the Nikes written in it in like big oh, font shit. in the in the I don't midsole. Remember. But anyways, like that, <laughs> <laughs> like that. Anyways, there's a couple of announcements I would like to make. Actually, just one what? very specific announcement, announcement that I would like to make. What? So as you know, we're recording from the Stay Fresh Studios, and uh, well, we've been a part of the Stay Fresh family for like over a year, a couple of years now. Shout out Stay Fresh. Yes, thank you. And then I would like to properly make this announcement that Stay Fresh has acquired a temporary space, man, like in downtown Vancouver. So Sick. Bef- I'm guessing like August? Beginning of August or end of July, you're going to be able to go to the Pacific Center in downtown Vancouver. Oh, you know, what? The mall. You guys the got mall. Pacific Ooh, Center? Nice. We're going to have a nice, super swanky fucking retail space. It's a big deal. It's a giant deal, man. Apparently, the space is like I've seen photos and I know the store previous and it's very nice. And it's exactly what they need to showcase some of the crazy expensive stuff they got there. Yeah. Man. So, can you imagine like walking through the mall? Okay. You see like the, the local retailers. Like, you see like a gap, a Foot Locker, and like an EB Games. And well, it is specific. Oh, EB Games. Remember You're close those? to that EB Games? No, no, no. We're in the middle by the food court. Ooh, by the food better. court. So, anyways, like you go there, and the next thing you know, you walk past like the Sony store or whatever, and then you yeah. see like fucking a store just full of off white Jordans and fucking Yeezys and this and that. And like fucking in the back, you'll see like an entire wall full of Supreme stuff. Sick. In the mall, man. Like, so it's a bit pretty big deal, especially in Vancouver. We don't have a lot of these kind of destinations for hype beast shopping. So, yeah. uh, I encourage everybody to take a look at the Stay Fresh Instagram. You can find them at stay fresh canada and they'll be updating everything from the instagram account and probably on their other socials as well and uh i'll be doing you know video coverage of all the process of them setting up and everything and hopefully we'll have a concrete uh, announcement to make on what the opening date is but yeah yeah, man everyone that's in the vancouver area or close enough to get by anyways come by anytime in the month of august they'll be doing crazy we should do a pod there dude if you want, man. Yeah, we can. Parking's expensive, but like, <laughs> we can make things happen. Man. Anything for you. But we have been invited there to actually do pods there yeah. and stuff, and like, just do whatever we want there. Cool. Man. We should do one at the opening. Yeah. Yeah, man. We should. That'd it might be, be a little bit hectic that day, but like, after everything settles, I'm pretty sure we can find some. New time. York fries on you. Like, you'll serve it on me. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> sushi. So yeah, man. <laughs> stay fresh. Uh, pop me. up in August. Or end of July, come to Pacific Center in Vancouver, downtown Vancouver, and you'll find everything there. I'll be there a lot of the time. I think I'm going to be there for like pretty much all of August, helping out and like checking out the local scene, like you know, like shaking babies, kissing hands. Anyways, oh my it's, God. <laughs> it's gonna be a good time, guys. Come on down. You guys excited? I'm excited. Yeah, you gonna cool. come down? You guys gonna come down? Yeah, dude. Like I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like I legit don't like going downtown as a fucking local here. 
just because like I don't like driving. I don't like traffic. Yeah, you can take the no, nine you can times take out of transit. ten. I, I guess I'll have to, man. For transit. I don't have any excuse not to be there. Yeah. So like, I'm gonna make full efforts on uh, being there as much as I can. Mm-hmm. Man. Get your bike, Eugene. Come no, on, no, no. <laughs> Just for, <laughs> no, no, no way. Come on, man. Anyways, uh, with that out of the way, let's get into just a couple of uh, the news that's been floating around lately, mm-hmm. and then we'll get right into like this huge controversial topic. Yeah. Uh, at the very end, like that, I want to explore it. Okay? okay. Okay. So first, I want to bring up, you know, social media. Like I said before, is kind of a big deal when it comes to sneakers, and you'll find different outlets of. Sneaker news being announced uh, from accounts or from sources that you never would have expected. Of course, I'm talking about everyone's favorite Instagram uh, superstar, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, she decided to, you know, she, she's been doing this a lot lately, actually, is teasing kind of Yeezy lines and the clothes and the shoes specifically that, uh, you know, is important to us. And it looks like that. She, I don't know why Kanye just doesn't do it. But anyway, uh, she decided to like show off a couple of, I don't know if they're samples. I don't know if they're fucking in production. Yeah. I don't know if these are just uh, prototypes that never made it through. Or I, I don't know what it is. So like the fucking Kanye sketch of them. Uh, I see a couple of 350 uh, V2s, right? Yeah. But not only are they just the nice looking V2s, they also have like a translucent stripe on it. Yeah. So you guys got a... Close look at those things. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. You couldn't escape that fucking several video. loops of videos that I watched on that <laughs> one. But yeah, you know, you're just scrolling through Kim K like you always do. Like, daily. <laughs> well, it was she, just she posted it and that everyone took it, right? Yeah, everyone it was reposted, reposted from right? like every sneaker yeah. blog, right? Right. So, what do you guys think about that look, man? Like, we talked about how the the Yeezy V2s they're fucking they're done, son. It's sixty five percent different, thirty five percent the same, in my opinion. Uh, that. No, I think you 65, got that re- I got 65, that reversed. I think 65, you got that reversed. 65. So how how different are they and how much are they the same again? Well, it's translucent. It's 65 35. That's, okay. I did the math. You're good. We're good, Pierre. I, I think like this is <laughs> like we talked about like we talked about before like a couple of weeks ago is how the V2s are finally starting to get in a place where you can easily easily you can cop them if you put in the work. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. It's not based on luck anymore. It's not based on fucking who you know anymore. It's just if you put in work, <laughs> the good old you, days. You'll, you'll be able to get a pair, right? Yeah. With that being said, they are being produced at a number where the resale value of these things have almost like diminished completely, yeah. which is a good thing or bad thing. doesn't matter. Now, with this interest of potentially like a newer looking silhouette, it's not exactly a new shoe. It's just got new elements to it. Absolutely. Do you think this will revive the the V twos in a way where like people will be excited for that release again? No. You don't think this is gonna do anything for them? It's gonna create some excitement, but there's going to be realists like my boy over here. It'll be just like it's the same shoe, and it is. It is the same shoe. It's of course it is. It's the same so shoe, with like just the, different elements. Dude, right? what if like so is the Jordan ones, man? Like Jordan ones come out in like eighteen different colors a year, but why are certain? Well, different colorways like more essential than others in collections like they're still the same shoe as the jordan one well first of all i think it's outfit in my opinion like it's essential because remember we, what we talked to start to- developing more like sorry there's 30, looks like- 33 jordans like he's only got to the v2 like, we talked about this last week it's like the story three. there's no story it's just like straight up these are the colorways yeah. that we're gonna feed you i do like some of the, the 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 you know at least there's some new design elements to it which is cool like is that the v3 i don't know is it just a sample i don't know yeah is it different yes that's good i think that's a good thing um it was nice to see some other silhouettes in there as well yeah so that's cool it's t- but uh, is it enough to like give a shit about Fifty eh, percent for a regular person like yourself who's like no, I'm just saying. I don't like, think I'm a regular person. I think <laughs> no. I'm an awesome person. <laughs> yes, that's yes, that's you're not a, regular. That is not a question you're whatsoever. Regular. But it's just like I'm also like, regular. For the that's ones that, that look at certain things, this is just a regular shoe. Right? Whoa, stop right there, man! It's not a regular shoe. Look, you're saying that it's a it's a regular V two. Look, man, you're kind of contradicting <laughs> yourself. I don't even have to be here. He's just doing all the work. It's awesome. It's like, <laughs> My bad. look, you say that it's well, a regular scary. shoe. At the same time, you say it's the same shoe. Whereas in, since it's the same shoe, back two, three years ago, this shoe was fucking super hot, right? How so, long has this shoe 
the, the life cycle of, of the V2 been going on now. Let's for. just call it they've, like shy of three. They've extended this. Way it's got to be much. at least two years yeah. by now. It I've been seeing be this at thing. At least two, yeah, if not longer. It's an s- interesting strategy because they're extending it to different colorways for a longer amount of time than any of the. That's versions. Adidas, man. Like Adidas don't do stuff like, hey, man, like the fucking NMD one, NMD two. Like they're at R two right now. Is that Adidas or is that Kanye? It's got to be both, man. They yeah. work together. Yeah, I like. I like. I kind of like that because you're just having you're not working on the typical season sort of like here's season one and season two and you're tied to a certain time frame of the year or which is fine, whatever man. it is which is it's like which British is cool. television they just come out whenever they want yeah you just kind of you're not yeah. bound to like a certain schedule right no I and think that's good and it's not like a sports season where like you're expected a new product every season like fucking calendar for well the it, year, it right? really it's like him releasing albums it's like it's not yeah, like man. an album every two years yeah, it's man. just like I got an album now and, like, and then maybe in three years maybe five years maybe seven years I don't know maybe in Kanye and Adidas this is mine they're like oh the v2 that's like the fucking hottest shit we've ever made and everything and to some extent like they have a valid point like the v2 is sold very very well there's not a fucking single v2 that has ever sat on the shelves for more than a couple of minutes right because there's only been so uh, that's besides the point but anyways like let's just no, it's not beside the point it's a true fact <laughs> let's just say like uh, you're making it rare so the shelf want, life so of the quick. shoe proves that they're they are a hot commodity hot commodity because there's not very many and they have a huge reason but you know what i mean yes so in their mind like oh shit this is a hot product and everything let's just fucking keep doing this because that's what the people want and everything so maybe they think that the people want more v2s so they just keep coming out with more just to satisfy the crowd you could say the same thing about a crackhead <laughs> like you're giving you're like on? oh if you don't give them that much drug they'll just keep coming back and it's like well of course like to some extent, man, like fucking, you just give it. Like sneakerheads are a form of fucking. You give them too much, though, right? they're just gonna overdose, and then you won't, have any, so, you won't have any people to come buy your shit. So or they don't you, want it. If you give them a lot of drugs, <laughs> no, tell me this. No, I want to. I, I want to <laughs> understand this. I'm not making fun of you. So you give them a lot of ju- drugs, they don't come anymore. No, I'm saying that it's because you're you just too much barely just giving. Over. You're just kind of getting them hooked on it, and you're just giving them a little, and they're like, "Oh, that was really good. I'm gonna keep coming back. <laughs> keep coming back. Keep coming back." <laughs> That's awesome. Give them too much, you're gonna end up killing them <laughs> yeah. off, and then you're not gonna have anyone that wants. Fair to enough. It. All right, I can, I can, I can flow with that. Look, man, like if you if you tell me like if next week they release another V2, but they only have five thousand pairs ever made, you don't think that's a shoe that everyone's gonna want? Sure. You can say that. About it depends any, on what it looks shoe. like, but if it's okay, it doesn't eat, like I'm making a point. Like it doesn't matter what it looks like. If you tell them that you can't get it, everyone's gonna want it. But they, it doesn't okay. have to be Adidas. It could be any shoe. You can say that about a Jordan or an Air Max one. More it or could less. be anything. Like if it's limited numbers and you, there isn't very many of so them, people are going to and I'm huge say, resale. People are going to buy it. I'm going to say that if it looks the same, I know better. I'm going to say I know better. Like I've been in the first gen. What I think is different from us than the new new people copying Yeezys right now is that we've been there from the very beginning and we've seen this story before and we've seen this magic trick before and I'm not gonna like fall for it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I will only buy what I want now in a V2 line. That's fine, right? It's not for you then. Which ones? The uh... like the generic colorways and all that stuff. It's not gonna be for you anymore. Because you're going to be more picky about which V2s you're going to get. Yes, but it's not – do you call it a generic colorway though? It's just a different colorway which like for me, the the butters and the creams are similar whether it's a serving product or a colorway. Like they're just good with a good summer shoe. Well, that's like the tan and Oxford and moon rock and all that kind of stuff. It's like they're all just too close. Yeah. You might as well just mash them into them into one and then just – I have the you moon rocks that, yeah. and the tans. Yeah. And like I've told you before, like I really have to look at the box label to know which is which. Mm-hmm. Because just looking at them individually, you can't tell which is which. I can't because I'm yeah. fucking stupid. But you like both of them though, right? Because they're rare. I don't know. I guess so. I don't know why I like them. I just like them. I think them. you like them. He likes the model, but then you're just, you're a collector. Like yeah. you want to add it to the collection of those. You just buy all of them. Yeah. You know, like okay. his like NMDs Pokemon's. and stuff like that or whatever it is that you're into. You're probably going to try to get every one yeah. it's not so much like oh um, i need this for my wardrobe at this point it's more like i need it to complete my collection yeah or grow my collection and that's just how it is that's man. a different for you yeah some yeah. people will buy it based on like how much i really like just it. want that one because i like yeah. that colorway yeah. and it goes with whatever i'm wearing or i just like that look man none of us are wrong no not at all it, i'm not I, saying i well, love <laughs> think i'm um, listening to how you guys rationalize how you guys buy or pick your shoes because i have a different way of rationalizing things for me it's hard for me to buy another colorway of the same silhouette. 
it's got to be re it's got to check a lot of <sighs> that's not true man you're talking about this v2 specifically no in general but like how, so many, what, it's how really, many pairs of sorry door? you're really hard to buy what Different the, a different colorways. colorways of the same silhouette. Your Air Max One. How many? How many do you, you have? have? Lots because there's different colorways. Because, <laughs> because That's exactly what we're no, saying. But, but because it's, there's different stories behind it. It's got okay. A, it's got to check story. It's got to check. I see. Okay. There's more to it than just the wearability. Color. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, like. Because you got the safaris, you got the yeah. Atmos. What I'm saying the... is that I'm not gonna collect it because it's another version of a, of of the same. Because you would you would go crazy if you were trying to collect every single Air Max yeah, One. It's a waste of money. In my it's opinion. not a waste of money. It's just it's impossible just to impossible. keep up. For me, it, starting yeah. now, like it, it'd be hard. For me, it would be a waste yeah. of money because, like, you know what? Am I really collecting that because, or I'm just an enthusiast enthusiast of that shoe? Yeah. Right. Well, the thing is, like, with the Air Max One, for me, like. The only reason why I have so quote unquote few of them is because only certain colorways matter to me, mm. and I've had the I guess you can say the luxury of not getting them when they first came out, and then realizing now as a grown up which ones are actually fucking meaningful to me. Yeah, and I can go back and get the ones that I really want. Whereas in the V twos, I don't have the time to make that decision whether or not they're valuable to me. Yeah. I need to get it now and decide later. Yeah, and true. that's what happens when you fucking stay current with the product lineup. Yeah, we talked about yeah. this with Supreme. Yeah. If you want to be current, you're gonna go broke. Yeah, man. You just buy whatever you can and decide whether you're not or, or not you want to keep want it. Or not. Yeah, and that's, that's a true. fucking terrible way to be a consumer. Like it's just it expensive, is. man. Yep. Like, yep. All, like all those I people, like all those people that bought like the iPhone 10 or X or whatever. Like those guys are not the happiest consumers of that fucking brand's product right now. They just needed to get it because if they said no when they had a the chance, they wouldn't be able to get it for months, right? Yeah. And this is how. St- like fucking addictive personalities and consumers being the same person like that's just how we consume things right yeah. and how we spend our money and that's why they fucking keep making shit for us yeah. translucent uh, stripe <laughs> no problem man they just release it if it yeah, doesn't work cool. cost cool. them next to nothing to Absolutely. make that shoe right but notice how the the movement for translucent materials is pretty rampant nowadays eh? do you think like i'm pretty sure it's not the first but do you think like cdg the virgil like kind of yeah popularized it do you think yeah but it wasn't the first cdg that, was that's exactly the what first. i mean not then, the first yeah like i think i went back and looked and i think it was like 2006 or 2004 was yeah. one of the first Look, bro, ones i'm pretty sure like cavemen um, found a way to fucking make clear shoes too <laughs> yeah but like, i mean from a from like a i'm not talking releasing. about like when was the first i'm talking yeah. about who popularized yeah. it to a point where like every brand every silhouette has got to have one see now. that's one of the rumors that i kind of got me into hyped about th- these element 87s um I've heard a rumor where that Virgil designed these uh, these Element 87s because it has some like translucency on it, just yeah. like the the Converses that Can he you fact checked that for me. Uh, no, Jason? it's not. It's not real. It's I don't not, think not it's true. true. It's, it's yeah. not true. Okay. It's not true. So what are they saying? Is like the fucking Element probably took elements from the off white design and yeah. applied it. Wow. To their own fucking design. I don't know, man. Like, if it's hot, it's hot, dude. Like, I think that translucent look is cool. Yeah. It's just, I don't think it's practical. Yeah, that's true. You know? Well, it's 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 definitely, like... Owning the amount of shoes that we have isn't practical. Like, none of this, what we hey, do, is practical. Look, dude, this look, fucking... This, this yourself, is the most bro. first world problem podcast that exists, <laughs> okay? Yeah. It's about us, like, hmm, should we get this? I oh, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to spend $300, guys. Yeah, that's why we focus on the culture. Translucent yeah, is this, like, why isn't it practical? Just because, man, like it's probably Dude, who, hard to keep clean. Who, and plus, and who wants to, to like, know what your shoe, what you, I mean, what socks you're wearing? I so it'd be like wearing translucent like trousers. What? You well, hey, how about this? What if you parts of your trousers? What if you wore you see the translucent shoe with like a dry stepper on it uh, over it? What's a dry stepper? <laughs> Those, Those fucking uh, the shoe bags. condoms. That'd be so meta, man. <laughs> that's so. That's like so sneaker meta. inception. It's like tripling <laughs> up, man. <laughs> Double bag that shit. <laughs> you got so, socks. You like. You got really important feet. <laughs> so either way, man. Like I'm calling it right now, man. By the time those translucents comes out and like the photos on feet and everything starts coming out, I think Pierre's gonna change his mind. He's gonna be like, "This shit's pretty hot. This uh, hot, bra." I hope so. <laughs> like, I mean, like it's nice it's to be excited it's unique. about shit, it's right? unique. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about but like, it. Right it's now, you guys unique. are just like, oh, you the same. Like, <laughs> yeah. You guys are so bitter about this V2 stuff. It, I'm not bitter. It's just, it's, it's 
It's colorways. What? Colorways. I, look, look, man. I, I'm, I'm, and you were saying story. Story has to be. He, I'm pretty there's sure. There's zero story to any of it. I'm pretty sure a huge number of people listening right now are pissed off that we're talking about this V2 thing again. But let's stop just, talking about the V2. Let's move on. Was there any pissing them off? Was there any other shoes in the videos um, that you liked? Colorways or shoes that it were in matter. there. The that only thing that's the only sure thing that struck me is, it's like it's just because it's got a new element to it. Everything else is just different color blocking. But this new element is what draws attention to. to but was there any other colorways of other shoes that you wanted to see? There's a couple. There's the seven hundreds. No, I like them. I like the uh, the black going into that brown color. I like those. No man, those it's, and then there's one more of the same. white. There's um. That's there's okay. A, there's it's a five just like you and your fucking V twos. <laughs> there's a five hundred that, that I'm excited about. I love the seven hundreds. So. Yeah, seven hundreds are cool with me too. But I the, still haven't caught that. I have a feeling like once it's too late for me, I'll be like, I wish I had seven hundreds. Yeah. It's they're, okay. It's dude, like you just wait how long more. you had to wait for your Air Max ones, yeah. and then you just Look, go dude. like thirty September. years from now. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, it's one of those things where, like, a lot of times when I was younger, I'm talking about like maybe five years ago. Like every time I missed a fucking shoe, I would get like mad FOMO over that shit, man. Like, fuck, man, this guy's got a pair, and that guy's got a pair. And I don't have my pair, and like now I'd be like, oh shit, I didn't get a seven hundred. I don't even oh, well. like that shoe. I'm yeah. all, I'm all right with that. Moving, moving on, right? I might make like a Twitter rant about <laughs> why I didn't get it, but at the same time, like I'm not gonna go back and like pay resale for it like I used to. Yeah. I, first of all, like it's just not ep- economically feasible for me. I have to pay f- Vancouver is expensive, bro. Oh, dude, way expensive. Yeah. So anyways, like moving on. Moving on. Uh, the Nike has. Uh, speaking of Air Max Ones, bro. Oh, you know what? Speaking of Air Max Ones, <laughs> shout out to Brendan, who in the last podcast, yeah, we were talking about Air Maxes, and in the same time, he went crazy on Air Maxes. He has he bought- been an Air Max fan? He said, "Well, I think he works at a." A sneaker uh, app store or an app company or something like that. All right, man. And That's he's, confusing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But anyways, he he bought a bunch of really high, high end, or not high end, but like really sought after collector items, like the Pata the ones. Pata. And mm-hmm. I didn't know Supreme made an Air Max collab too. Uh, what? Yeah. Which one? Um, it had like I uh, like camo, not camo. It had like prints, like animal prints on it. That was Amos, bro. No, no, no. He, t- he, he showed it to me. Anyways, shout out to him because I'll show it to you later. Okay. So speaking of those Air Max 1s, I know uh, Jason knows a little bit more about the backstory to uh, the collaboration between these things. You want to give us a quick little rundown? The Para? The Para Air Max 1? Is it Para? 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 But whatever it is, P-A-R-R-A? Yeah. Yeah, it's a, a Dutch artist, um, graphic designer. It's done in previous... Uh, uh, collaborations with Nike. I think he's done two other ones. Um, yeah. And like I was telling you, I was reading a thing today about him and that his uh, nickname is Para, which was short for Paranoid. Tell the listeners the story. Yeah, like the the, the guy, the owner of Pata, um, nicknamed him Para because it was short for Paranoid because he uh, he's a bit of a worrier and he uh, was, I guess he was uh, signed up for some sort of uh, in-store kind of event. And he was worried that he wasn't on the list, and he kept phoning a bunch of times. And so the owner's finally like, fucking, Listen. calm down. You're on the list. You're good. Yeah. You know, and and so then nicknamed him Paranoid. When you met him? He's like, yeah, yeah. your name's Para. You're paranoid all the time. You're and Para. And it's stuck, eh? I guess so. And so then that's just part of his, yeah. yeah. I love the art that he does and that he puts on his clothing line. Yeah. It's just that really nice, vibrant color. Not vibrant, but like really it's colorful. Vibrant. Is it vibrant? It's like vibrant. baby blue and reds and like, does he have yellows? Anyways, long story short, the jacket is fucking fire in my Are opinion. Are you getting it? I wish, but uh, it's probably going to be hard to get off. I like get man. All right, before we go on. Pardon we're... me? So <laughs> get off online. Hey, <laughs> Start to get well. offline. <laughs> uh, before we go on, like, first of all, what do uh, we think of, of of the look of these Powder. Fucking dope. The Air Max ones. Like I've been an Air Max one fan for a while yeah. now, and the collabs always caught my attention, yeah. and especially stuff like this where it's very artistry based. Yeah, this is very cool, man. Like mm-hmm. even the, I don't know if the box that I've seen is the actual retail box for this thing. Yeah, way the box is cool. It has the same art that's on the box. No that's way. On the shoe. I thought that was just like a fucking yeah. special engagement release. And then they're also doing. Like uh, he's also doing the Spirit on. Yeah. So the Air Max one okay. and the Spirit on. Yeah. And uh, then a full uh, tracksuit. I'll take the Air Max one. Yeah. The Spirit on actually is like a shoe that I, I picked up a pair, I don't know, about a half a year ago. Like got a 50% discount. So I'm like, I want to try these out. Like guy at work was like, got to try them. Yeah. 
OG one, like anyway, so I got picked up a pair. Super comfortable, dope looking silhouette. It just has like this fire look to it. And it's yeah. like one of my like low key favorite shoes. Really, eh? Yeah. It's it's like uh I don't know. I'm gonna anyway. have to add that to the list again. No, my list is gonna I like to keep my list clear now. <laughs> I can't. I don't know, man. Like, just online, just looking at shit online, that's very dangerous, man. Because mm-hmm. I want stuff. Because, like, yeah, I know, dude. like, if I just go downstairs, I can fucking make a deal. There's and nothing spend wrong with dollars. putting stuff on the list, bro. That's fine, I guess. But it like, was just, uh, just for fifty percent off. I was like, I always wanted to try this. It's shoe. one of those like, shoes that you would never like, buy a full full price. No, now I would consider it because I've tried it How out and I like it. it. Is, yeah, I think it's okay to put silhouettes on the list yeah. and not actual shoes on the list, mm. right? I think it's okay to put. Vapor Max. Just to be or... vague. Just so you can get anything and be like, I've done it. <laughs> and so the other two collaborations he has, the last one was with Pata. So it's the all burgundy suede Air Max 1 with the multicolored sole. That's the one. That's, That's the one that Brendan got. Yeah, that one. Which, And then he has one before that, which is all burgundy with like the same sort of like blues and orange tones on it. And both of those like go for like three to 4,000. Woo! So it's a like very sought after, very hard to find. So luckily for us, so, like one of the local stores is getting one of these, or is getting the release of the Air Max Ones, man. Mm-hmm. And I know that most of us in this yep. panel have tried all our avenues, trying to like uh, sign up for raffles and shit like that. Yeah, I know the chances is going to be really bad, especially for local. But like, you know, I, I I haven't done an actual online like Instagram or Twitter raffle in a long, long time, just because like. One, I'm like, I, I might be able to get a pair elsewhere. Or two, I'm like, I don't want to fucking use my public accounts to, like, you know, sign up for raffles and shit and, like, do that. But that's besides the point. Like, this one I kind of really want. So I, I broke that fucking non-rule of mine and just did it. And I fucking tagged you guys and shit like that. And I'm pretty sure we did it. It's okay. Oh. You're welcome to do so. Like, so. I, 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 I'm a huge tag. fan of this. Like, it, it, yeah, circle tag. <laughs> so I'm a huge fan of this thing. First of all, Air Max 1 can't fucking all. Can, you can almost never go wrong with an Air Max 1 no matter what you fucking put on it, right? And also, like, the fucking artistry itself, like I said, very cool. interesting looking shoe. Packaging. Yeah. Huge deal for me. Oh, know, yeah. I forgot about that. Right? Yeah. Ooh, that's like. That's the, um, 50% of the shoe. <laughs> there's also a friends and family version of it. Yeah. Where it's all. Oh, the swooshless one, right? The swooshless one, but it's oh. all uh, le- leather. It's all like high premium. So the original one, like yeah. the, the, the one that's being released, is in like the OG materials. So the mesh and whatever, the, the suede, whatever, the microfiber yeah, shit or whatever. It's time it to is. marry into that family yeah. now. So now the friends and family is swooshless. And it's also in like premium materials. How do friends and family so. releases go? Like a private party, and they there's, there's no, it's not even a release. It's like here's here you go. They're bro. allotted so many. So he pl- just gives them like a he's got a list of like who they go to, and they get like allotted so many, and then he picks like friends and family that kinda it goes like, to. Kind of like when Might Pharrell other, has his own shoes. Like yeah. hey Pharrell, pick thirty of your friends that you want to give your new NMDs to and shit like that. And then there'll probably Fuck. be people within the the Jordan or or Nike family that also get those. So yeah. that's. Friends and family, and then there's ones that go mm-hmm. seated mm-hmm. pairs that go to that's the sick. higher ups, famous people, and that shit is like that. Sick. Yeah, Just so it is what it is, man. It's like, dope. I'm a huge fan of this shoe. I haven't been excited, like super excited about a shoe for th- this, like the Element 87s and everything. I was excited, but at the same time, like I can probably get a pair if I pay money. But these ones are like, uh, I don't know if I want to pay that kind of money for it. Yeah. So I, I have a feeling these will resell really Nike's high. Nike's fucking killing it this year. I'm well, sorry, but they've stepped up compared to. Adidas. If only they can fucking deal with it online. Releasing the shit. I'm probably. just strictly saying on the wise. types of shoes that yeah. they're bringing to the table and the design yeah. elements is fucking killing. What do you think? Nike killing Adidas. What I'm sorry. Is- Last year, Adidas was the dominant, coming out with like fire stuff for us. Yeah. And Nike didn't respond, and this year they're fucking. Jason, killing it's it. still half sorry. a year, so don't worry. Like I mean, there's Adidas still. Adidas can still catch up. From what I've seen Just from kidding. the Adidas calendar, it doesn't look like anything no, too <laughs> exciting is coming. And there out. goes that dream. <laughs> no, man, like yeah. anything can happen, bro. Like, but Calendars you never know. Um, I, th- I'm gonna say that the Bape Ultra Boost is gonna kill everything. Yeah, I was gonna talk about that. <laughs> so rumor. I don't know. Well, first of all, uh, the the para para. I'm more excited about the Air Game Air of Thrones. Air. Uh, collaborate? No, I'm not. All right, man. That so was sarcasm. I was looking at you like I was gonna in. like. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, we can talk about that. So too. Air Max ones all in. Yep. Yes. Okay. So 
I was gonna end on this because it, it has some relevancy to this kind of pot to this podcast, and that is another Adidas and Bape collaboration. Yeah, man. And we had a lot of fun the last time something like this happened. Mm-hmm. So you want to give us a quick intro? What's coming out next year? Early next year? Oh, is it 2019? That's what I've read. Oh, I didn't know that. But it's a it's a Bape Ultra Boost um, collaboration. So uh, unlike uh, that's the, not the tracksuit stuff that's coming out. The tracksuit's no. on the 27th, and yeah, hopefully I, I get that. Yeah. But there's no Canadian stores. Yo, if you don't know that, Eugene, mm. Bape Adidas mm. full tracksuits, Addy Color. So. Okay, I'm in. Yes, please. Do they, wait, wait. For these tracksuits, are they charging like Adidas money or are they charging Bape money? Doesn't matter. Take my money now. <laughs> I'll um, take two. Are you getting like each one of us is getting a different color? It's we'll be like the Beastie Boys. <laughs> first I, want, of all, I got dibs on red. First of all, no, you can't get dibs. It's whatever you get. It's going to be hard enough to get, dude. I thought you guys were getting it. What if you only get the jacket and no pants? What do doesn't do? matter. It's still it's one, no of jacket, two. one of two. No, is still no good. pants day. <laughs> Sorry, man. You just wear what you bought. <laughs> coming, <That's it. laughs> Nothing yeah, more. Coming from Japan, this is a must-have for me. And so, I need this babe. They've been working together for a while now. Yeah. I've had a lot of the collabs before they were even super hot. <laughs> But whatever the case, the, the track suits are coming out uh, this month. Yep. And uh, from what I heard, for Canada, it's going to be online only yep. as, as of now. So no store is going to carry them, which might be a good thing if you remember what happened the last time. So leading into that story, uh, like you said, there's going to be an Ultra Boost. NM, or NMD, fuck. There's going to be an Ultra Boost with the Adidas and Bape collaboration. Have you seen pictures of this thing? They're, they're just mock-ups right now, but like... I mean, they did. I'm going by what the history was. The NMD babes are freaking awesome. Of course. Yeah, and Those so, are, I, I agree. They're yeah. worth whipping for. Yeah. So I'm gonna say with that history, I'm gonna say this is still this is gonna be fire before I even see it. So but what? You're, you're already commi- in? you're thinking that it's already gonna be fire, dude. Is this gonna bring back the hype of the Ultra Boost? No. Yes. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna for a down. certain amount of time. Write it down, Eugene. That's fine. But man. it's still gonna bring it. To yeah, answer your question, it's still going to bring the hype. It's because of Babe. It has nothing to do with the Ultra Boost. Well, that's fine. Well, dude, that's, whatever brings attention but it's to still, it. But it's still just going to be... Eh, I have no problem with like the fact that they're using Babe to sell a, no problem. a, a cold item. No problem. Cold item. Dude, man, who's buying Ultra Boost right now? Not Nobody. people like us. Nobody Not is. people like us, man. There's people stumbling. Environmentalists. Look, look, look. I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way. like The Ultra Boost has put itself into a really bad position right now. They've made a lot. Which is fine, but like because they've made a lot, not pe- people don't fucking have the urgency to buy it anymore. Yeah. People like us that used to be all about the Ultra Boost because like they're super hot or whatever. Now we've already got multiple pairs of these things. We don't need too many more in our collection. And at the same time, they've priced it so high that the yeah. casual sneaker, like the common running guys, are not going towards that thing. They're going towards See, like, no, I agree. the Brooks I agree with that. and the fucking Asics and all the proper running shoes. I d- so at like $250, $260 Canadian, yeah. you're not going to get people like my mom or my dad that's going to walk in and buy a pair because yeah. they think it looks cool or it looks comfortable anymore because they priced them out. But at the same time, it's priced for people like us. We understand that price point, but we won't buy it anymore because mm-hmm. we already have some. So they put themselves in a really shitty position to like not sell any more units. There's got to be an Adidas memo out to Kanye and his group saying, "Can you the wear the Ultra Boost?" <sighs> Blew my mind already. Take what? my money. But the, he needs to start wearing these again, um, in concerts or just out. He's trying for... to promote his own shoes. No, Why but I'm. He... Yeah, I get yeah. it. But I think for this to get hyped again. <laughs> Kanye needs to true true or false. Kanye wears this. Does it go hype or not? To be honest, whatever Kanye has been wearing lately hasn't made that big of an influence no. on people's purchasing power. I think no. I think if he wears an Ultra false. Boost and he brings it all back, whether it's a V three V four, I think it sells out again. I think what Adidas not should do, but for the consumers, what they should do for themselves is start retroing the Ultra Boost. Bring back I the want V1. The one. All twenty like, eight colorways of them? No, I've heard New rumors ones. that they were gonna bring back the Ultra Boost V the version ones or the OGs, right? But those are the same as the V twos, which but, is a different pattern. Yeah, but it's, it's the, the pattern. V1, matters a yeah, lot. the V one is the best out of all of them. Hands people down. Missed, best pattern. People got the V twos, the V threes, the V fours because they missed out on the V one. But you give them back the V ones, they'll be like, I'll take three. Mm. Trust me, man. If they were quote unquote retroing these and make them, you know, a little bit Tomorrow, more. Tomorrow, if they they released, like, the chalk or the OG white with the black sole, I'd go buy it. Yeah, the chalk and, v1, the, and the, for sure. like, the cream colorways yeah. of the V1s, they have high re- resale yeah, value one, the right now. The chalk one, 
the burgundy and the olive. Yeah. Those those ones I'd be like I'd yeah. So I'd I don't know broke. if that's in their books or whatever. I've heard rumors that they're re-releasing those things or retroing yeah. these things sometime this year. That's crazy to retro something like five years later. We're talking about like how do it, that. Like it just seems so like But Nike does that all Nike the time. Nike did the trainers just Five, this year, last year. Makes sense. Yeah, that's true. But I'm I I'm just saying regardless of who it is, it seems absurd and to Well, no, they they released a trainer because it they never actually went forward with the model. They only did it for the Olympics and they only did like a like three colorways, it's four still colorways. Retro, pretty much. It's not like... You didn't s- even really give the lion a chance. You just cut it off and went with the racer. Oh, that's a good fucking strategy, man. Keep right? the people thirsty. Yeah. I know. I, I, I would much rather have had the trainer than the than the racer. Uh, the trainer's I, I, a better I shoe. Both. Trainer's They're, a better shoe. It is a better shoe. I'm wearing them yeah. right now. I know. But like those, the, those fucking racers are pretty racers fucking are hot, dope. too. They're dope. The racers are nice, but I'm just finding but now it, that they're But if I'm like, hey, man, put a gun to your head, you only have one. Which one would you choose? Trainer, trainer or racers? Trainer. Trainers. Trainers are cool. I'm not, See, saying there you the, go. I'm not saying racers. Are, it's like, but racers are cool. They are cool, but they just no don't. one said they're not cool. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying the trainers. The trainers cooler. hands out were better. I'm just trying to say I want to get both. <laughs> you should get both. Yeah, fucking, I don't have trainers yet. The the trainer is like one of the like the most perfect shoes ever. Yeah. Yeah, man. Fuck, I wear it every day. One of the kids that I coach, he went to um, uh, the convention, um, Soul Exchange, Soul Exchange yeah. and picked up. Like one of those lush blue or those light blue ones. Yeah, first pair. So fire. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good job, man. Good, it's good stuff for everyone. So like these uh, Bape and uh, ult- oh yeah, these NMDs, man. Fuck these Bape Ultra Boost. Do you think these are going to be a fucking huge success? A fucking riot of a success? I think no. it'll be. I think so. I don't. I think in different parts of you don't world, think no one's gonna be. get whipped for these. Oh no! It's got to have a really unique look to it. It'll look like a fucking babe camel pattern. Yeah. How they apply I, it to that's a what I'm saying. Prime how they how do they apply it? Whether it's on the prime knit or not. Well, if it's an ultra boost, it's automatic. It's a prime. Oh knit. fuck! It is. Prime it's prime knit. knit, but they might not put the pattern on the prime knit. Is what I'm saying. Maybe they'll just fucking paint it on the cage or something. I don't. But know. But whatever the case, man, if they were somehow develop this new technology to be able to prime knit like fucking intricate patterns, I think that'd be a new movement for like that totally. silhouette. Uh, so if yeah. they can like just actually n- weave that color yeah, into it yeah that'd be dope well, like, if they can start doing that kind of like what fucking the lebron 15s did yeah that'd be fucking amazing man like the that's, lebron 15s like the, that's woven in the colorways it's not painted on bro wow yeah man it's like a fucking woven i don't know the proper term but woven it, probably woven true. pattern yeah so like if they can do that with a prime knit with like that small of an area like that'd be amazing that's crazy. So hopefully that'd be a step forward. I'd be looking forward to that shoe. Just like the actual execution of that thing, I'd really want to see what they come up with. Because like Bape does some fucking crazy the mock-ups I've shit. seen so far. I'm like, eh, not. On Photoshop, you can do fucking. Yeah, but that's anything. like a 15 no, year I mean, old dude. Like we don't know. Whoa, whoa, we don't know who it is. Whoa, whoa. Stop bashing 15 year olds. <laughs> They're very talented. <laughs> so far, <laughs> what know, I've I seen know. is nothing that I would be like, oh, that's cool. When I saw the NMDs, I was like, you wouldn't oh, take those a are dope. Like I just like how they're piece together that's and crazy though a... like remember the, in the first few y- years like first yeah. few months of those nmds and they released that like yeah that helped catapult that line right in my opinion but... nmds were hot before that thing anyways. yeah well nice kicks maybe those they do it nice... cageless who knows like there's so many uh, different options no no to... no let's not do the cage let's but the uncage cage is not the hottest fucking yeah. shoe soul box Probably one of the best Ultra Boosts collabs. I'll yeah. pass. Cageless. It's, it's just, all right. Whatever the case is, these babe things, of <laughs> course, it's me. I'm going to have to go for it. Yeah. Go with my tracksuit. Me man. too. Oh, yeah, that's right. How about you, Jason? Are you going to get a couple of pairs of these? Right now, it's based on what I see, no. But I would I would have to wait until I see the design. I don't know, man. They sold me at babe. So yeah, me too. Go. So I know, I know the... <sighs> Do you even own a bait piece? I don't own any bait. There you go. You're just missing out, bro. There you go. I don't. I'm not against it. I yeah. just you're kind of not necessarily. Do you not like, like Japanese people? <laughs> just kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know why you're gonna set them up <laughs> I, like this. Yeah. Yeah. Holy I love what all things I'm Japanese. Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Because um, I love Japanese. No, people. there's there's lots of bait <laughs> stuff that I like. I just I just don't like how that looks on that shoe right now in, in the mock-ups I think I'm and gonna... i'm wondering how they're gonna do it that like will said. be awesome yeah. and right now it's not we we've talked about this before <laughs> where, where it's really about execution but in this situation just because it's babe i'm foregoing that's the crazy execution that, part. that's crazy like you can't just go just because it's babe it's gonna be awesome 
I, like that's silly. I, that's so silly. You could say that about some of the Supreme stuff. I'm just gonna buy that Supreme jacket. I don't give. I'm gonna close my fucking eyes and hope for the best. But I love it could that. Be, it could look terrible. Like yeah, it could be really Dame, bad. The Dame fours that I have are yeah. awesome. And even though people don't like that shoe, I love. I think that. that's executed okay. Think I think so? it depends on the colorway. Yeah. That Dame four, but the, the bape it's one, pretty right? good. Yeah. I think that represents every th- aspect of what it's supposed. It to. It reminds you of their jackets. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, what it's supposed. You look to. at it, you know it's, it's a cool. Babe, yeah, and you know it's an Adidas basketball shoe. But I'm like, based on what I'm seeing right now in those dr- in those mock-ups, I'm By like, those are olds. fucking terrible. <laughs> like they're not good. Adidas. Can you? They're not good. Would you mind doing a mock-up? I if could you, in your I time, think in your in your spare my time, very you limited any, time. Yeah. I do could. I don't know how I would approach it. And put yeah. it out on the internet and see, let's see how it goes. Like what? What would? What would I do if what I had to you, design it? Yeah. What would you do? Right? Like. And please don't make it uncaged. That's he would much. legit. Just no, like, I don't know. I think it, it. You'd have to do some work into the history of the bape. bape itself. He would right? go out like, to the jungle stuff and kind of just and shoot down in real ape, <laughs> and use his fur <laughs> like furry bape. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to anyway. be looking forward to what this thing actually looks like, and uh, of course, I'm going to be interested in getting these shoes anyways. Yeah. It doesn't matter what they look like. It's yeah, a bape. Too. Would you pay resale on these? Yep. Nice. <laughs> Whether or not I can yeah. financially support that fucking suggestion, yeah. that's a different story. I hope they take the easy approach and million. Over, overproduce? Million. That's, I'm okay with that. That'd be cool. They will. So getting off of this uh, upcoming release and all the hypey shit, let's get to some controversial content, like I said at the top of the show. So we all know Pino E. Yes. Pino, Pino E. Respect them. I yeah, respect man. Them. He's got like a huge following on yeah. YouTube and on Twitter. Not this week, though. Well, he still has a following. No, uh, respect-wise for me. Okay, but we'll get into that. Yes. Uh, he has been somewhat disgruntled with a certain store. Should we even just name the store? No, you know what? You, you If you follow him, you already know. You already know. Yeah, because yeah. we're not going to... We're don't not going to put anyone that. on blast because like, these are all allegations yes, and everything. Yes, and so. that's the one thing that grinds my gears about this shit. Okay, so according to Pino E, first of all, I like consume all of his content. He makes some very interesting pieces all the rumors, all the fucking upcoming. He's he's very he's on the first. Ball. He's first. Yeah, man. He he's, has he's some good sources. Exactly. So with that, he's a very respectable personality on the internets and on the social media. So every time he has something controversial to say or he makes any allegations, people will take notice. Yeah. And when you say something so divisive, it kind of leads a mob mentality in the negative kind of way. So. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're you're familiar with this. You want to give a quick rundown of uh, allegedly yeah. what he said? Well, on all I saw was on Insta on Twitter about people going crazy because he just made a post saying that this boutique store, local boutique store, allowed 30 pairs of the Cactus Jack 3s, 4s, 4s yeah. to one person. Okay. And so everyone, he gets a lot of clout. Yeah. Uh, right? He has lots of fo- followers and stuff like that. So when you say something like this, everyone, like you said, mob mentality, yeah. just shits on this boutique store. Yeah. Whether it's true or not, to make an allegation, 30 pairs is, first of all, 30 fucking pairs is a lot of pairs of shoes. Uh, for, yeah. for one source. What is yeah. that? Like a s- two size run? Three two, size run? Two size yeah. runs. That's a lot. Almost, yeah. And that's... That's inventory that's not going to the person who is working his ass off to go to the raffles or do whatever the fuck they need to do to get these shoes. Right. And I'm just saying that if you're going to say something, that put some, put some evidence to it. Yeah, and that's the thing, man. Like With the immediacy of social media nowadays, people would just say something and it's basically taken as fact. Without yeah. any evidence, without any proof. Yeah. And that's the dangers of but social he's, media. He's usually, like, with the rest of his stuff, like, with the, the Jordan info and all that kind of stuff, he's yeah. usually pretty spot on with most of it. Like, I understand. Like, 95% releases, of the time. And releases, releases but stuff. allegations? But like, allegations, He doesn't make allegations like, like this. True, though. yeah. That's a very personal and kind of targeted attack. Because yeah. they name them, at them, and everything yeah. on Twitter. And that's kind of a big deal. Because yeah. at the same time, he he has a following that will believe a lot of the things or most of or all of the things he's saying. Yeah. Because he's been a very reliable source in the past. Yeah. And I'm saying that as a positive. But yeah. in the negative end of this thing, when he says something not fucking flattering about a certain retailer or a certain business, that can have huge damages to that brand. 
Absolutely. And I'm a fan of both brands. Yeah. Both brands. And like, and you know, at the end of the day, there is, let, let's be honest here, guys. There is backdooring. Right? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like there is he's just he, yeah, like if if it sheds more light or whatever on it, dude, that's all he's doing. It's like investigative reporting. Like it's, it's not, not even investigative reporting, it's like, Jason. Like what well, is you not just, investigating? You, you just he admitted made... that it ha- we all know that it happens. Well, yeah, we all know, but we're not. We don't know who's doing it. No, we don't we're not know. seeing look, look, thirty look. pairs off for one. <laughs> the problem, <laughs> True. Not, the problem I have with yeah. him th- making these allegations. So you do have a problem with this too? Of course I do. Okay. Uh, the only thing is like. We can sort of have the expectation of uh, most all, however you want to see it, of these retailers to make extra cash or whatever. They do backdoor on the side. Absolutely. Backdoor on the side. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but for him to fucking name the one store that's doing this yeah. or accused of doing this, that's the problem I have. But, Eugene, it, it's rightfully so if it's really 30 pairs. Like, I mean, I'm okay with someone backdooring one a two personal pairs pair to his to like friend, his bro. right? Right, but thirty pairs is a business that is like that's definitely a resale business job. Like that's a resale. Whoever's getting those pairs are gonna resell it, right? Right. So there's got to be a kickback if if something happens like yeah. that, right? Yeah, that's so, a business transaction right there, dude. For that's, sure. that's not a favor. That is more heavy than yeah. someone just backdooring one or two pairs. Yeah. Okay, so like when we're talking about backdooring, like obviously there's different fucking tiers or levels of this shit. Uh, yeah. Like there's like an employee saying like, "Oh, I can probably help you out with this one pair since fucking I haven't done anything for you lately." Yeah. There could be that kind, or there could be like, "Hey man, like you said you promised me the last time and this time and everything." It was like, "Can I get an extra pair or something like that if they fucking don't sell or whatever?" There's that kind. Yeah. But then this, with what he's fucking accusing this store of doing, is basically making a business transaction for someone else to profit. Mm-hmm. And that's the problem I have, not with the fucking transaction itself. It's just like, why are you accusing this store of doing something like this when you're just like straight up singling this one store out when we can probably make the same allegations with just as much or little proof as he's provided with any other store that you can name? Do you know what I mean? Do you think that there's other stores out there that do 30 pairs to one guy? Uh, I think that's a very high possibility, man. If we ever check our social media and people are flexing on the resale shit and they got like five stacks, fucking 50 or 100 pairs of fucking Yeezys, yeah. there's no way he won that many fucking raffles, right? Mm-hmm. And there's no way he's running all over fucking town picking up two pairs at a store at over 50 stores. No, it makes sense. So, like, there's got to be a single source that's providing, like, mass bulk quantities of fucking hype shoes. So I'm not saying, like, oh, here's my proof that it's fucking happening. I'm like, if you put the pieces together, it does seem like a fucking common trend that there are single sources that's providing, like, huge bulk numbers Mm -hmm. to resellers. Like, I've been to SneakerCon, man. Like, I've seen fucking early pairs. Yeah. I've seen fucking pre-release. I've seen fucking hype shit that people just stocked up on. Like, some guy would roll up with, like, 30 pairs of off-white Jordan 1s. How do you get 30 fucking pairs of off-white 1s? That's crazy. Are you fucking just... Bidding on everything on StockX and hopefully they ship on time. Like, how do you do that? Unless you know somebody that can provide you with those 30 pairs. I don't think he's going out there collecting one or two at every fucking store, right? That's just my assumption. And, and even like, the chances of winning that many raffles there's, when they do happen is like that's very, slim very, and none. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's very silly odds. Yeah. As in like you might as well just buy a couple extra Lotto Max tickets and just but buy a reset. Yeah. But there's definitely – it's because there's collusion, right, between the person – that is getting the pairs and and the team that's inside there's an it's just an inside job and that's only if this is true and like that's the thing man like with this source like there is some backlash to what he said because he probably had some negative experience with either the store or an employee or whatever and that's why he had to i don't know man it just seemed so it it just seemed like such an attack on this fucking store if, if that's the case that's not cool like, even if it's true or not, if he's releasing this without... The main thing that I'm just choked about is that there's no evidence. There's no evidence whatsoever. It just says 30 pairs to this one boutique store and no evidence whatsoever. Whether it's I have had some sour um, experience with them, put some evidence. Yeah. And that's the thing, man. Like, this guy basically runs his entire content off of rumors and sources, right? Yeah. So him having to prove anything that's not really how he 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 dictates his content that's true and like him being quote-unquote salty or very agitated that's also 
probably a personality or a character he's developed mm-hmm. to make his content a little bit more interesting, a little bit more uh, amusing for uh, for the people that watch or, or or read his fucking tweets or whatever, right? So that I'll, I'll take it as that. Like it's just a fucking character, but like and no doubt in my mind that like he was probably fairly bitter about something that fucking happened to him yeah. about shoes for. You know the the one thing, and we've had conversation about the level of influence. Like when you start having, to me, when you start having an X amount of followers in like the hundreds of thousands or yeah. whatever, or the millions or whatever, you're in this pedestal where like you got to be responsible, in my opinion. Oh, of course. And then when you start getting money from this hobby that you do, whether it's you know links or or advertisement money and stuff like that, now you're even you're you're in an other type of echelon where responsibility is key. It's just like media, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Right. I mean, we've had we've had challenges or frustrations with people letting us know that there's going to be this amount of pairs releasing for this shoe and it doesn't happen, right? And we get frustrated with that. But then, do we hold it against them? Maybe some, maybe not, right? Well, the thing yeah. is, like, there's got to be some accountability to what you say, even for a small following like us. I'm very, very careful of how I work. Absolutely. Things. Perfect. That's a good example. And, 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 like, that's the thing, man. It's accountability. Yeah. Does this guy not seem that he is accountable for what he's saying? And, like, it's okay. Like, to, to some people, like, I saw his revised tweet this oh, morning. Oh, he revised it. So he had a revised tweet this morning. Saying, and I quote, uh, at Pinoe77, So, I spoke with a few people at the store, and the info I got was from an ex-employee with an axe to grind. After hearing how raffles are done, I'm convinced they're above the board. My apologies to blank. More success to you all. Above the board meaning what? They're legit. As in, like, they got nothing. And so he is, basically retracted it. Yes, but the damage is already fucking done. And that's the hugest issue I have with this entire thing is like he said something got a lot of attention a lot of retweets a lot of replies saying like that's why so and so like I can never win from them oh so I knew this shit was happening like they got like mob mentality like I presented at the beginning of this argument saying like look man like you fucking have some sort of influence and you say something controversial or divisive you're gonna draw a mob See, I mob didn't, mentality I didn't yeah. know that I didn't know that he retracted that but that makes apologize. me even more angry yeah because now he's like, oh, sorry I said that fucking crazy, harmful, dangerous fucking comment about your business, your fucking livelihood yeah. that fucking could cause who knows what kind of damage. Yeah. Well, and he you apologized, but you're right. The damage has been done. And, like, if anything, that's even worse because, like, he's somehow admitting that he was wrong yeah. to something that could be potentially that damaging. Hmm. I, might know, have like, to, I might have to unfollow maybe. Oh, uh, I can't unfollow. It's just because like our fucking content depends on a lot of his content. I'm gonna decide on that. So it, it's just one of those things, man. Like he's attacking. Like, like don't get me wrong, man. This fucking story in question is one of my favorite fucking places to be. Yeah. And they do some of the most legit releases. Whether or not they're fucking backdooring thirty pairs, that's not for me to decide. For me to fucking accuse them yeah. of because I just don't have that kind of source. But to take the source or the fucking word of an ex employee that doesn't like that business, that's that's you tough. should have questioned the source yeah. in the fucking beginning, man. Yeah. And to run with it on a Twitter f- account that has thousands and thousands of followers, that's kind of irresponsible if you ask me. Yeah. So I I know that like he he does a lot of stuff good for the community and he breaks a lot of news that we use and He's a local guy, so we lo- Exactly. Su- we support local talent always but, always. But so- but to an extent and the thing I want to stress is that he has a following and he is, um, I, I don't know if he wants to fucking label him that. He's some, somewhat of an influencer. Absolutely. And for him to say something that strong without the proof or without fucking further investigating before he puts it out there for thousands and thousands of people. Because on on Twitter, like fucking, if you have a that kind of following, the reach is limitless yeah. with retweets and everything, right? And like that's when, that's when people went crazy saying like, "Oh, I knew it, I knew it," yeah. and like, "Fuck, I." That's what happened to me too. And Dude, first of all, if you knew that there is backdooring in the, if you just found out that there's backdooring in the sneaker game, yeah, you're as ignorant as I am sometimes, <laughs> because there is, and 
it's all about the relationships that that's part of the sneaker game that i love right is that having no no connections at one time and then just because you love the game you do something for the community and people do favors for you whether it's right. it's a two-way street or not yeah that's you having a relationship yeah that's look, cool look dude if you live in a world of black and white of course, you're going to say, like, oh, backdooring is bad. It's unfair and this and that. And I understand that argument. But if you live in the gray area where fucking 99% of the population also live, then you'll see, like, there are exceptions. I don't want to call them exceptions per se, but there are exceptions. Yeah. Saying, like, so I were to go to, like, any local boutique store and support that brand, like, specifically. Buy their house brand stuff yeah. and, like, fucking attend all their sales, attend all their special events and yeah. all that stuff. And I'm a supporter. And I spend huge money there. Why wouldn't I get some sort of preferential treatment as a loyal customer? Absolutely. At that point, like, as a fucking normie that just rolls up to only raffles and not spending a dime, do they even have the right to complain that they're backdooring to, like, these loyal customers at this point? No, not at all. Unless it's 30 pairs of that one loyal customer. <laughs> Unless Shut up, dude. It's... it's... No. I know, well, right? I know. I understand. But like, it's not even true. I n- well, if you're the I'm not g- going to say that it's not. And I'm just, not going to say that it is. Yeah. I'm just saying Let's that just we say all know that it happens. How much we don't know. We don't know the exact number of these things when it happens. So Let's just say like, for any particular any, ad- any advocate. reason this 30 pair to one guy thing is true. Let's just say it is. Okay? Yeah. I'm not saying that it is. No, no, no. Let's just say it is. Okay. What do you think this person's connection is to this store to quote unquote earn 30 pairs? Easy money you does that mean that if you got that kind of money you can also pull the same feet no it's 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 so it's more than money it's kickback it's a kickback to that per you've had to build that relationship in some way exactly yeah and maybe they built that relationship i'm not saying the 30 pair to one guy is right maybe you built that relationship with the same fucking loyalty i've talked about before true Maybe you were you started out as a customer and now you're fucking a power seller, and you yeah. go to every sneaker con. You travel around the world to sell sell sneakers, and you need to acquire the goods. And like the only way to do that for you is to fucking pay up at local smaller retailers or yep. whatever the case is. And this guy did build that rapport with these stores the same way that me and you could. It's just whether or not you can have the fucking cash flow to fulfill that fucking demand. But what if there's thirty pairs that gets given to this one dude? And then there's only forty pairs given to the whole to the whole store. So there's only ten yeah. for everybody in Vancouver. That's why they never tell you how many pairs there are lost. So, so they yeah. can back door. That's not cool. Like no one ever tells you how many pairs. And that's that they the thing, man. That's get. why this is the gray area. Yeah. <clears throat> like if some guy I don't know, man, maybe they usually backdoor thirty pairs. But like this time instead of giving it to thirty other people, they give it to one guy. Yeah. I don't know. It no, could be that's anything. True. It could be as simple as that. Yeah. That's it could true. be as complicated as Because at the end of something. the day, like if you do the numbers, exactly. it's still one person thirty times is the same thing as, as 30, thirty pairs. Yeah. One but you only person. gotta deal with one person, one transaction. I'd take done. that deal you if I was go, the retailer. Oh, fuck. Like when is the number twenty seven coming in today yeah, but to that's, go get that's shit? That's harder to hide. Like that's That's what I'm saying. It's that's harder it's to just hide than like thirty times harder to hide, thirty times harder to collect. 30 times harder to like and that's the thing man like relationships to keep you know building like it just seems why maybe bother? maybe these smaller retailers have like a fucking backdoor allotment that they've set aside sure and how they distribute them that's their problem so this person's a retailer now this person that had the 30 is if you're a re- retailer you kind of need like fucking the account and everything to yeah. sell and all that stuff and they're i'm i'm almost guessing they're not buying at wholesale prices let's just say like yeah. If these cactus jack go for what three hundred bucks or whatever, three fifty, three fifty, yeah. Then the store that sells them buys at a half price, right? Yeah. So uh, that's also something I want to talk about sooner or later. Mm-hmm. It's like these consignment stores get destroyed for charging fifteen dollars or fifteen percent. Yet retailers charge like an extra fifty yeah, percent. People don't know. People don't know. Yeah, that but they about have retail. the account, right? That. That's, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I, well, I, that's for another day. Yeah. Because <laughs> I could go yeah. on on go yeah. on and on from sure. what, what I've heard about consignment stores. Anyways, uh. Let's just b- broaden this out a little bit further. Can we agree that backdooring is pretty much a given that it happens yes. everywhere around the world? Yes. Yep. Okay. We know it. Even That's I don't, how other I don't businesses have to, survive. I don't have to even see it in person to know it happens. Yeah. It's fucking gravity, man. It just exists. Yeah. Uh, can we agree that it's not not in every circumstance is a bad thing? Like people like legit earned some backdoor privileges. Absolutely. 
whether you grew up with a dude from high school or you put a lot yeah, of man. money into the store. Sometimes it's work, legit. sometimes it's luck. But whatever the case is, like they just have so- an upper hand that you don't. Yeah. And that's just life, man. That's just and life. And like, if you're on the negative receiving end of this fucking life you're lesson you're gonna be salty you're gonna be salty and even if you have 10,000 fucking followers on Twitter you're still gonna be salty <laughs> is that what he is then like I mean yeah. Kino's a good guy I don't know him but he, it's, his content is entertaining but like this this to me was kinda like it's, a eye scratcher head scratcher yeah, it's, it's just like the responsibility that you have when you yeah. have that fucking kind of following like I said over and over it's yeah. just just be a little bit more careful man like you can't just name people and base it off of what you've heard yeah. i know that you build a career off of fucking sources and rumors and all that stuff and you've done very well for yourself at the same time when you're attacking somebody like you got to be a little bit more careful yeah. dude even if it were true i'd probably just shut the fuck up i mean he he's he's apologized and that's that's a first step but right? still the damage is done you know hey like, kobe what I- made a mistake I still don't and forgive him. <laughs> yeah, I don't. He, he I'm, fucking yeah, did all right. Yeah. It's like fucking. No matter how many times Chris Brown fucking apologizes, I'll still never forget. Yeah, but he'll yeah. Be, he'll we'll forget about this. That's how yeah. that's how it is nowadays, man. We'll forget about it if you if you do a if you hold a grudge, you won't. But then the general public will will forget about. I just took it a little bit personally because like I fucking built half of my sneaker collecting career. Because of these guys, Me because too. of that store, Me right? too. And I've had dealings with this store, and yep. they're we all have. They're good. Yep. Yeah, they're they good. are like one of the spots in Canada. They're yeah. like ranked one of the top sneaker stores in the world. Yeah, and they're Canadian based. And don't bite the hand that feeds you, in my opinion, because you at the never end, know, right? At the end of the day, like we we don't get a lot of limited shoes and there's only one or two. there's only two consortium accounts in all of Vancouver. Yeah, and like tier zeros, and other people don't even have any of these oh yeah like it's we're lucky to be in canada i mean in vancouver to have these <laughs> we might as well just spell out what the store is at this point <laughs> we dropped a lot of hints but like it's a very public fucking tweet yeah. he like did nothing to hide and and that's the thing man like it's just hard for me to be like oh hey guys backdooring is bad and this and that no, like, 30 pairs. Do it. like yeah 30 pairs to one person that's pretty fucking ridiculous I mean, but you never know okay maybe it never even hurt your chance of winning up if pair. he did it showed pictures and <laughs> mentioned the name cool cool yeah. i'm cool with that okay like then i'd be like yo pino thanks for doing this thanks for showing some light on this dude boutique store what's going on like i understand what the hell yeah Man, you're going to do a lot of editing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I'll find a way around this. Maybe yeah. one or two will we've, slip. We'll see. We've named the store several times to our listeners, but if there's little cracks on, on the <laughs> editing, it's because we if named it. something sounds not as smooth, yeah. it's, like, it's because I had to make an edit on the... Uh, sweet cans. Made. Sweet <laughs> cans. <laughs> uh, anyways, Jason, I'm going to get Hi. your take on this. Oh, yeah. Have you ever been... He's the one that has the 30. This doing? is the guy yeah. that has the 30 pairs. That's why. That's why I've that's been so quiet the whole story. time. That's why he's like, so quiet. Like, he's like, motherfucker. Oh, like, shit. Pino, come on. Come on, buddy. That's why buddy. Pino won't talk to us because <laughs> because Jason's on the panel. Because oh, that 30 guy. Oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> so either way, like, I know that. Have you ever been in, in, like, the fucking receiving end of, like, a handout? Like, a backdoor handout? No. No? Okay. You don't work that as hard as we do. What are you, what are you talking about? I haven't even said anything. I'm just <laughs> looking at you. And I'm but. <laughs> You haven't had back. You haven't had a backdoor hookup. Not personally, not me. Oh, your friend oh, did. Yeah, so yeah, I have. Yeah, I know someone you. else that oh, okay. has a relationship, and so that you, sometimes it trickles to me if I get one, something. Though. But it's never, it's never like super high profile stuff. Very rare. We got my kind of hookup is like, what? hey man, this didn't sell out. You want me to hold your side? Oh, Adidas. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes Adidas, but sometimes it's not like super. Like it's very rare that Yeezys, I think it's, huh? Yeezys. Oh yeah, that's right, dude. But <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Can you, I leave that? Yeah, in? you ungrateful. I think we should probably take that out. You ungrateful I don't little biatch. No, no, no. I realize it now. I was just like, who? <laughs> no. Oh, that's because anyway. They, no, you technically earned something along the lines of no, that. The, no, because <laughs> <laughs> I, I was shit on. That's, anyway, well, it's your fault for not asking for a size at like. Yeah, nine a.m. We can okay, like, okay. Kind of cut some of this. You know stuff, what? But... I'm not. I'm gonna leave part of that in, and I want to discuss this. Then, yeah, you were tangentially given a, a a reserved pair. I'm gonna be very careful how I word this. Yeah, thing. yeah. You were reserved a pair because the store in question, yeah, messed up a a legit reserved pair for you. 
Like you were there, reserved a pair of fair and square. I guess so. Yeah. And then uh, they accidentally sold it to someone else that yeah. wasn't you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if you backtrack like fucking fifty episodes, yeah, yeah, you might yeah. know what we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, and then to make up for that, yeah, they were able to be like, "Hey, man, the next big thing you can will help you." Out. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's just. And then you cashed it in, good, right? That's good. That's what good proper business now, that's, should be. That like they're not right? profiting like that, from you. That's a customer service. Yeah, man. That's error. just customer service, right? That's not the correct. That's not me going. Yo, yo, you fucked up thirty pairs of what I was gonna get. <laughs> I wanted thirty pairs, and you fucking sold thirty pairs, so you owe me thirty pairs. Where's my cactus no, jack? Like, I wasn't we don't carry that brand. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's not it's not like me trying to build a relationship like a so that I can buy it, so I can go and resell. It. You okay. built a relationship with a particular person. Yeah, yes. you, based on based on that one fuck up, you were able to build a relationship sure. like, with uh, certain employees of that store, right? Yeah, and that's helped you out along the ways of like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to that store because. I'd rather go to this store instead of, of course. taking my chances with some other store. Well, and I think that's just part of customer, customer service, yeah. right? And like, you go there, right. they they treat you well because they want your business, and you go okay. and, like, spend your money there. So okay. I think that that's a that's a good thing. Let, I don't think let's that's... just say they fucked up that one sale that happened to you, okay? Yeah. But the next hype shoe is, like, I don't know, the, the Air Kurtz. <laughs> like, those are coming out, yeah. and, like, everyone in Vancouver wants a pair of Air Kurtz, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah, And, like, I'm fucking lining up for two hours just to join yeah. a raffle. Next thing I know is, uh, oh, this guy fucking didn't get his pair of nothings, but now he's reserved a pair of Air Kurtz, and I am not going to be able to get my pair because he might get it over me and everything. That's fair. Do I have the right to be pissed as a fucking raffler at this point? No. That one pair has been taken away from the chance? No. No, because no, I think you've like you're been you're dealing with a whole customer service issue at that point. And I guess how so I think however it's fine many pair that... the stores release to the general public, that's not really... No one's that's gonna know not, whether you had enough it's not just about, like, or whatever. They know or not. It's like it's not your business. Yeah, they can release them however the fuck they want. Yeah, and if they want to release it, thirty well, there's pairs other, to one there's, guy. They there's can other do places that. that I would frequent, and then I got to know people, and that would be like they know that you're not one of those selling reselling <laughs> stuff. That you're actually like a true sneakerhead. That you're yeah. into like Asking collecting, and you're into this. In the and you know, so the odd time I would you know go in and do the raffle and hey i won it's like did i win the raffle or was it because i know people i don't know it's yeah. never a conversation yeah. that you have it's never disclosed disclosed like you say thank you very much yeah totally that's awesome Absolutely. like that's good and it's yeah. like i will go back and then it started to happen less and less and it's like well i don't have to spend my money there i can go spend it somewhere else and yeah, like, you know online or wherever that happens so and I think it's important that you have those relationships and you try to build them because you want that advantage, you know, like you want to be, so you know, out of, a single so you go, location. five people yeah. go into a store and they want to buy the same thing, you know, it's like trying to like, people have different intentions with this, some, one person's going to keep it, one person's going to give it as a gift, one person is going to resell it, one person is, you know, so, yeah. so I think it's about them understanding, like they shouldn't have to care where it goes, but I think that's part of the duty of the store to kind of somewhat it's funny that be you in mentioned- control of where it goes like especially if it's to people who spend money there and support that store i think it's- to some degree there should be an advantage it's funny that you mentioned that when you put or you give your debit card or your money to a store yeah it's a strategy to get a edge or an upper hand well i think so that's like you're spending your money there so that people know that you either value yeah. what they're no, doing just, and stuff, I, I think right? you're right i think you're yeah. right it's just it's just an interesting most people go in just going well i should deserve this because i filled out a raffle and then never buy anything from that store ever again yeah and i there's two things to that like i agree with like you shouldn't have to spend like if there's nothing in the store that you want why should you spend your money on something only to be noticed and hope that you get future raffles but but jason you you can spend a lot of money and still be not known yeah of course right because you can i chat with people yeah the only way you can find out a relationship is like when you chat with them yeah right and i've had or you go in enough that they recognize who you are yeah and then you fill the raffles and then you're wearing stuff they see you wearing the stuff that you've bought from the store because i've I've talked to friends i've talked to friends where like you know what pierre i don't do the same thing as you do 
where like I'll spend the same money as you at this store, yeah, but I don't have the personality like you do and strike up a conversation, yeah. So and I don't always like I don't always just chat with people, but they see you come in enough, they recognize you and they see what you're doing and they or they see you at local events, yeah, and things like that. So that the community is like pretty smaller small. than we really think it is. Yeah, the population and, you know, is big, but the community is kind of small. For, yeah, especially for like collectible sneakers and everything. But I think it gets lost a lot more. I think you know the staff changes over and you know that's what different I type hate. different you types know, of like, people you spent go in. all this Yo, time dude that's what i fucking hate straight up that's what i fucking hate like yeah I, not even about shoes the the dispensary that i go to <laughs> yeah <laughs> straight up like i am i have to start from the very beginning because i cultivated this relationship with three gentlemen that are sneakerheads too yeah and they would give me like 30 percent off on different mm. date like you, normally what you can only go on a different date yeah for like 30% off. But they just give it to me because I talk shoes. I and you go in there a lot and yeah. you go to that particular dispensary. But now that they're not part of this, this yeah. team anymore, this store, yeah. there's new people and I'm just like choked. Yeah. I'm like choked because I don't get treated the same way. So I got to build the same thing you over and over. You put all that time back yeah. in. Yeah. So it's frustrating in that sense because that's... that's I, well, yeah. High school girl fucking... Yeah. I honestly it's, agree yeah, with it's that whole thing about the first time you want to have sex or whatever <laughs> like that. Like how do I how do I ask the question? Like yeah. how do I you know, back in high yeah. school <laughs> yeah. when you spent all the time building rapport with that one girl and then she transfers <laughs> all that fucking groundwork that you laid is all uh, done. Exactly. Yeah. Well yeah. you can follow her to not a good just... not a good idea. You can follow her to the school. We don't do that anymore. Yeah, but in re- or yeah, shouldn't fair enough, fair at enough. all. Pierre's always rolling up in high schools. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the following girl. Oh, well, so you're in grade 11 now. Oh, you're so close. <laughs> Call me next year. I'm kidding. That's interesting, though, too, that you mentioned that because it is – that's one of the frustrating things about relationship building is that when they are gone yeah. or it's a new manager, dude, fuck. And they have different rules and now. new manager has shit to prove. Yeah. He's like, it's not going to be like that anymore. That's guys. happened three but or four times. That's the nature times. of it, right? Yeah, that's it just yeah, you're right. how it rolls and – so what do you do know. with those uh, 30 pairs of Cactus Jacks, Pierre? Yeah. 30 pairs? I only kept one. I what? mean, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know Pierre is like, you've been fairly public about you getting fucking offers to buy shit without yeah. lining up or raffling. And like, you've built that relationship we, over time. We've all you known the, the the Atmos, Atmos incident. Scenario. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the case, man, it's just like... Look, dude, like, just by chance or by work or by fucking effort or whatever, you were able to get some sort of hookup, and you took advantage of it, and, uh, sort of. And, and, and at the end of the day, man, like, I don't think I felt cheated of that pack because You're you not got my size. Offered. Okay, fine. <laughs> you know what kidding. I mean. <laughs> but I don't feel like anyone should feel cheated of that like, one single pack or whatever. It, it's just, like, that's just the way things go. Yeah. And, like, these stores, like, you got to remember, like, once a month they have some hot drop. Yeah. They'll have 20 pairs of a really hot shoe, and they'll make, like, a couple grand off of that. And, like, all the stuff that sits on the shelf yep. that you don't want to go buy because you don't you can buy it at the local. Someone's buying them. You can get mm. it at the local fucking big box store instead yeah. because they have a $10 off yeah. coupon. Someone's buying them. And the guys that are going there buying bricks, those are the guys that these smaller stores and, like, family-owned stores yeah. take notice of. Can I... You know, one thing that I don't like about the sneaker game is when people call shoes that they can't move bricks or like anything. I just I don't like that. I I feel like that shoes are not supposed to be called bricks. But I get it. No, it's just a rant. It's just, it's just a, a term. It's just a little rant that yeah. I have. Yeah. But that and that's the example I, like I want to give is just like brick. Uh, you, you go there and, and like these stores Banger. only make only make so much money off of these hot shoes because they're so limited and like they only make so much money. Ooh, per pair you're loyal to the t- to the store because you have one and like raffle win. And all the entire time that they're not making the money, like they gotta fucking recoup somehow, man. Like they're still a business, and like maybe doing a little side business might help them fucking stay open. Like you never know. <laughs> like I want to, I I want to keep it as simple as that. What maybe side business do you have with these guys, Eugene? It's not me, man. <laughs> Just kidding. Shit, oh. I don't have side. business Do you think that's money. really? It could be ethical. Great. I don't know. I, uh, like it's business. Okay, so here's my other thing. If you're don't go into this rabbit hole, dude. I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna say like if that's the excuse that that particular place is doing. Yeah. Or let I wouldn't even say that place. Any place that has more than one store, then I call bullshit on that because then don't fucking open more than one store if you can't afford to do it. 
Like if you're in dire straits, then don't have five, six, seven stores if that's what your problem maybe is. Maybe if they have one store, they are allowed like but, fifty pairs of Nike. But Jason, you have to. Maybe if they have two stores, maybe they're allowed a hundred pairs of Nike. But yeah, J- but what I'm saying is that if you're doing it because oh we're not doing so well, then it's more about you conducting your business and how you uh, organize your business, and it shouldn't be about that. Like that just seems like. Y- Poor decision making, Jason. I would have to disagree because why? there it's just a creative way of getting rid of stock, and because from a retail, no, it's st- not because it's stock that people would buy normally. No, these are the stocks that are sitting. Are We're, you talking? Well, I'm talking about the stuff that's being backdoored. Like if you're just doing that because your business is in dire straits. Hey, maybe the extra backdoor money supports all the shit that doesn't sell no. on the on the show. Well, then don't have a fucking shoe store or carry other things in your stuff. Like that's the. That's so, the risk you take by owning a, a store like that. What it's I'm like talk- if you're just a footwear store, then you need to carry other shit to carry your business. Like you can't if that's you know risk. you know that that's what you're getting into. Like you know the game of when you deal with these different brands, they're like, "We'll give you this high profile shit, but you got to take all this sludge with you and sell it." And that's very common practice. And that's common practice. Like everyone fucking knows that. So, but what to if cry there's about it later and go, "Well, my business isn't doing well because I don't know how to sell stuff." But what if there's someone but, that can get rid of that sludge for you and make way for other sludge that that is gonna? Well, that sounds stupid too. Okay, what if but, well, that's not stupid? <laughs> because... What if I'm like Joe Millionaire? Okay? Yeah, and I'm like, I'll buy. 50 grand of all your quote unquote bricks, okay? I'll yeah. buy 50 grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't call it that. All you have to do is guarantee me 30 pairs of cactus at retail. Is that yeah. bad or is that good? Now what do you know. think? I don't know. I think it's. Now it's like even That's more relationships. Great. Building. It's relationship. Sure, it's relationship building. Right? Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Like, I'm clearing you but out of all the shit that you know won't sell yeah. at your price. I'm saying that if you're just doing it. Well, now I don't, it's know, I don't know. Yeah, right. There's no gray area now. I mean, well, it's, still, this is all gray. it's still a There's fucking gray, gray area. Yeah, it's still, it's still not good. It's even grayer. Yeah. You're, oh, it's not you're good. muddying the waters even further to get yourself out of something that I just you can't like, do. We don't know the circumstances. It's not like you, well, you, even if it's not like you didn't know that, that you were going to get bricks. Like that's my point. My point is, is that you didn't go on going into it going like, wow, everything's going to sell. It's going to be amazing. And every shoe I get in here, I'm going to make this much profit. Like anyone that goes in there thinking that is They're not the Supreme store. No, right? Like it just (laughs) doesn't work like that. Everyone knows that like probably third of the stuff that you get is going to go on sale. Like it just, it is what it is. Side note, I'm getting uh, Supreme withdrawals because it's on hiatus right now. Yeah, you got four or five more weeks. Yeah. You're good to go. Be okay. Two, four fall. or five weeks too long, good old man. Fall. To fucking save fall money, bro. I have a rule now. Um, I'm only gonna go out. I can't go out with two um, pieces of Supreme wearing oh, two pieces. So there's a two at piece, once. Two yeah. pieces. It's Supreme a one piece minimum? maximum. It's, that's, that may, or two that piece maximum. That makes me upper echelon. Two piece maximum. Oh, okay. So Fair I could easily do that with accessory or a hat. Or look, look. Now that the. Okay, let's just let's just finish this thing. Sorry, I'm just. And then I want to ask you a question before before we sign off. Okay. And that is uh, the backdooring thing. I I think there's different levels of it. Of course, yeah. there's like just the black and white saying like, oh, it's bad. But the gray area is like maybe there's this, maybe there's that. Even yeah, if that I mean, there's a lot of pair story of were true. Lots of there could be a lot of circumstances that they might be helping this store out instead of the other way around. It's different. Yeah, like that circumstance I gave before. Maybe they spent like fucking hundred grand worth of garbage just to get like thirty pairs of cactus. You know, sure. you never know. Maybe like that store probably gained from it as well. We just don't know. So without well, they, knowing enough yeah. details, I'm gonna just have to call this a fucking you know fucking you know hung witch jury. hunt. Is it, no, dude. Yeah. It's, it's more or less a hung jury for me. It's just oh. like I don't know enough evidence. I don't know enough no. proof. No. And, and the only thing I want to take away from this is like the damage that was done to this particular brand. That's that's a bad look, and they don't need any shit like that, especially yeah. with something so sensitive as fucking dude, backdoor. You know what it is? It's called. Well, it's, like it's not. Someone... They're not the only. Even if they did or didn't do it, they they're not the only one that should be yeah. called out individually. Yeah. Like I would say, call should, out every, every single store. one. It's like someone it. being yeah. called like a rapist. Like even though you're cleared, you're, the damage is yeah. Like, yeah. like if you've been arrested for and that, the, and the rapist, like, like I'm not the only like, No, were, no, like, people like, when they get arrested for something oh, like that, arrested, it's like you were arrested for that, dude. Like even if you're like. Like I was just around when you were like happened. I didn't I yeah. wasn't guilty yeah I was let go you're still, you're still fucking arrested for being a exactly. racist and it makes you bad yeah, you're that. you're tainted already yeah yeah 
Anyways, yeah, you're tainted it, it, taint. It, it, it's just like the allegations yeah. and everything. That, that's bad look. And yeah. uh, I can can we all agree that it's just like whatever happened happened is just like the fucking the way that I was drawn attention to was a bad yeah. look. Don't get yo. Don't get of us wrong, yeah. listeners. Like we we yeah. support. We love backdoor. We <laughs> we support Pino. <laughs> he and wasn't stuff talking like about that. sneakers. Just, this move was not cool. Yeah, man. Right? Yeah. Like we we still yeah. But there's plenty of other people to do the same shit. So. Other people on the internet, but this guy the hit same where thing. it hurt for me. And it hit well, yeah, and it, it hit yeah, because it's because too local. local. Yeah, of course, too local. Of course, right? so we gotta. Do I still like the dude? Yeah, I think his information, and everything. Well, I go still marry watch him. Then. <laughs> uh, so I still like his stuff. Super right? mature. Guys. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pino, I like I'm the guy gonna... at the store. I still fuck with him. Yeah, exactly. Uh, nothing's uh, yeah, nothing's yeah. gonna yeah. change for me. But Shit on, happens. On that note, as I was saying before, Pierre. Yes. You're in that supreme hiatus fucking withdrawal right now. Yes, ma'am. Knowing that... Oh, sorry. Just kidding. <laughs> but knowing that uh, within like four or five weeks, the fucking online store is going to be up and running again. Yes. And now that you have this fucking supreme bug that's bitten you. Two, you've never two had, piece or none. You, you've never had this kind of bug before, right? As in like, oh, shit, that was nice. I didn't know it was coming school out. Shit. Oh, that's school cool. Shit. But like now you're like, oh, what's coming out week one? Oh, shit, week two is going to be lit. <laughs> like that's you now, right? Fair enough. Would you consider investing... In a supreme online bot, knowing that will yeah. greatly increase. Yeah, I would. All right. I know you. I, I know you. Stay tuned next episode. <laughs> yeah, leave it at that. We'll I talk about it. Next- explain yourself. We'll Don't explain ab- yourself. No, we're gonna talk about it next. Pierre time. will consider getting a supreme bot, and maybe me and Jason will benefit from it. We're not gonna talk about it anymore. We're so gonna you leave guys, it the next episode. No, no. Next episode. All right. All right. Stay For tuned, folks. The Secret Files podcast. This is Eugene. I'm Jason. This is Pierre. Happy hunting, guys. <laughs> <laughs>